But yep, that was an adventure. <laughs> it's like, Welcome oh yeah. Welcome to the, the world yeah. model building. <laughs> Yeah. I've never gotten into like either painting or m most people don't paint um, like the Bandai models unless you're doing something really different like uh -huh. making a battle scene or making uh -huh. a battle damaged version. Oh yeah, I can see it. But that stuff where it's like it, they also use a uh, heat gun or soldering iron to melt pieces of it oh. to make it look like. Oh wow! And it, uh, again, this is for Gundam. Where oh it's yeah, like, for sure, for sure. They got laser guns and they got laser swords. Oh yeah. So melted parts makes a ton of sense. Yeah, if you have a specific uh, scene in mind, right? Yeah. Um. There's a, a channel I can show you that is just a channel that posts videos of making dioramas. Ah. And they're a uh, really impressive channel, but it's like, this is well above hobbyist level. <laughs> right? Um, like to me, hobbyist level would be like the equivalent of Warhammer figurine painting. Mm -hmm. but, to my, but to my knowledge, for Warhammer, it's you're just painting, right? Uh, some people build little dioramas for their... Um, Yep, like larger units. Over here. Okay. They'll put like, like a uh, grass and rocks and okay. stuff on the on the okay. base of their things to make right. it look like it's part of a, but, a scene. But still, the but still the models themselves are a single solid piece, right? Yes. Okay. Or or they're two pieces, right? Okay. They like yeah. The construction is not no. The, the point. painting is the, the painting the is the point. Point. Yeah. Method of participating in the hobby. Right. And uh, I never was confident with painting stuff, so all, all the kits that I ever had is just... I do the assembly, I do full decaling that's, like, provided. Mm -hmm. And then I find a nice pose I like and set them on the counter somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, it was, uh, I guess not, no, not, not knowing how long it would take going in. I was a little bit, it was a little bit, uh, it was a little bit much, but now that I know what to expect. <laughs> Another one wouldn't be as daunting. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be as like, ah, I'm still going, <laughs> you know? Oh. Well, it's this guy again, but oh. he's all seven, you know? <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, speaking of level 70, um, so, oh, hang on. Hmm. What is it with, what is it with any time I'm streaming and you just yawn a bunch? Oh, it's just, it happens. Not crab. Um, anyway, so I was playing Arise, um, I got to, before that, before that story, what is the latest you've ever seen a game do its titles, its title drop? Uh, cheating, but Nier Automata. Nier Automata has a title drop at the, like, midway point of Route C. How many hours would you say that is? Uh... 35, maybe? Okay. If you're like me and are kind of doing, like, completion-y percentage okay so but i say it's cheating because they it technically has two title drops. it's just the second one is way later oh okay the second one well yeah. the first title drop for arise for me was 32 hours <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's late I, I, I still think it counts for near automata because it's it's very like you're you're playing it and you're really invested in this big change that's happening in the middle of Route C. And then you get like a distant scene and like. Like it's a really pulled back shot of a tower shooting a thing up. 
oh, you're yeah. like, oh, this is so like affecting because it's like after a big thing's happened. Yeah. And then you get Mirror Automata title drop and you're just like, Yoko Taro, you need to be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that tower. But yeah, first first title drop was was uh oh and then and then after the title after after that happened, after we got the title drop the game's opening movie, like you you know, when you launch the game, mm -hmm. the opening movie changed. That's cool. And now it only plays the new one. Uh. So that's a thing that happens. I will not go into any further detail. Yeah, we'll be getting to a rise at some point. Just yeah. Right now, but okay, no after levels, after stuff to do. Yeah, after that big old story thing happened, uh, the game handed me a bunch of quests. You know, I was running around collecting quests, and I was like, okay, I'll do this one. Uh, note, I'm this was like. Uh, it's not a spoiler to say false ending number one. It's a Tales game. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I'm at. I'm nowhere near far. I, I just got through false ending one. But um, I'm level like 35. Yeah, I, I go like I go like do do this quest that they handed me. Then the basic enemies are like level 60. Oh in this God, zone okay. that I got access to. Like, oh, okay. why That's are you giving not... me this quest now? Yeah. So I was like, okay, that must be a, a weird... Yeah, it's like Xenoblade, except you're intended, if you're doing this, to fight these enemies. So, it's... Come on, it's not... Me. It's not quite Xenoblade, because Xenoblade's like ambient level 80 over there. He's not going to touch you, if you unless you touch him. Let's do our best. This is more like, no, these enemies spawned to fight you now. But it also, the game also did a thing that I've never seen a Tales game do. When I entered the zone, it put me in combat this mode. Fight is over. And the whole time you're in there, you're just in combat mode. Huh. So the, there's no there's no end of fight screen when the fight ends. You just keep going. And I never got any experience because the fight never ended. Huh. Uh, I ended up dying because all the enemies were 25 levels higher than me. Um. Well, why why are they doing this? So I was like, okay, fine, that's weird. I'll try a different quest. And then I go, and it's a quest where you just it's it's one of those it's, they they sprinkle a bunch of these throughout the game. It's a quest where you just go fight a boss monster. You, you're going and doing a thing. Boss monster shows up. You beat it up. The boss was level fifty something. Like low fifties, like these guys. It's like what. Yeah. I can't fight this. Which is which is both too high for you to fight and also lower than the other thing. Y yeah. It's, so <laughs> that's a really weird situation. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll go try this other quest. And that quest was fine and I beat it. It was just like what <laughs> why why do I have these high level quests? So yeah. It's not completely out of nowhere. One of the first quests you get in Arise is, hey, here's an introduction to boss monsters, right? Mm -hmm. The boss is level 45. Yeah, and that's a not uncommon thing Tales games do. Go do this quest way later in the game. But every single other boss they throw at me, I was able to just beat. And now they're just... Now I have like five quests I can't complete. Yeah, now you have to be discerning. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. So I'm just doing main quests now, but still, it's really weird. Anyway. Not bad. You too. So yeah. Anyway, the only enemy that we don't have the item for those uh, bugoids. Not the armadillo or the bat. Let's get started. We got these guys. Items. That being I, said, it was a free double battle, so I decided to fight it for great purposes. Oh, oh for sure. 
because this is a game where grape is spent in game and not on new game plus only yeah i wonder how it'll be for arise i don't have a it's not even called grade in arise it's called points blasphemy i know that being said the name grade is not i would say an accessible name for the purpose of new players and uh Maybe with a rise, they're trying to get new players. Who knows? Maybe I'll see that there's a shop at some point. I don't, I really don't know. Did you see that? I beat it. Incapacitator. Probably for killing some number of enemies. Mm. Yeah, it looks like the, the title, title maxed out, yeah. Yeah, we mastered the title. Hello, Bugoid. Oh, that's the Bugoid. Yes. I can fight too. Is it called a hundred Okay. Oh, it is. I misread that. I thought it said hunter. Hmm. The a hundred is much funnier. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know how I told you, I don't remember how many streams ago at this point, that Tales of Rise was very serious? Yes. Um, if you... I had forgotten, but, um, it just knows where to place its, its more tales -y moments better. Like, the tone of the game is certainly more serious, but, like... I, I would I would um I would invite you to just watch the cutscene where you get a new costume because the, the the way you get costumes in that game are you just find owls scattered around the world okay and the owls are wearing the costume you'll get okay and so those are like the attachments right like you know like the ears we have on velvet right now and then sure. when you get a certain number of them, you take them to the Owl King, and the Owl King will give you alternate color, like, costumes for the characters. Sure. There's... So, when you, I, I invite you to go watch the cutscene where the Owl King gives you a costume. <laughs> where the Owl King bestows upon yes. you. Yes. I will have to check that out. I will uh, see if I can s send it to you via Discord. I mean, I can the, just, just see if like see if anybody has just ha just has the that cutscene yeah. as a as a video. Um. You'll be facing Shigure soon. Yeah, not long now. I know this is a weird time to bring this up, Laffy said, but there's something I've been meaning to ask you. All right. Ask away. I knew you'd say that. So, uh, how was your bath and Mercio? Oh. Huh? You, uh, you went in with Velvet, right? Just between us guys. What was it like? Well, what are you getting at, Rogoro? Okay, somebody. Let me okay, somebody job. has it. It's. It'll be our yes. secret. Not you too, Aizen! There's nothing to be ashamed of. There are just certain times in life when you need to find your resolve and seize the opportunity. We just want to know what your resolve got you. Right. It's like a test. Stop it! I didn't go into the bath with her! Now that's a shame. That might have been your one shot. Once you're all grown up, you won't be able to get away with it. That's why I didn't do it. I'm tired of Velvet treating me like a little kid. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> You passed the test. Right. You don't need me to watch over you okay. anymore. Why did you laugh like that? We're just happy that you're growing up. I don't understand you two. If you're just gonna pick on me, go away. <laughs> We're sorry, but I really needed that. Laughter's good for the soul. Rokuro, were you feeling tense? You wouldn't think it, huh? But now I can fight like I always do. I owe you, Lafayette. Yeah. Don't worry about it. 
Looks like the next test is yours. Yeah. Laffy said, Eisen, watch me prove myself. Okay, watch it, watch it. <laughs> yes, I, I have it. I have it up on my phone. How do you think Shigure will move against us? He's not really the imaginary Look at that owl type. King. He'll be out in the open, waiting for us. Look at him speen. Just, just fall. <laughs> 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 That's it. That's the entire hey, cutscene. All into a pile of garbage. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it 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 just it it's it's more choosy with 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 its moments, is what I'll say. Yeah. But they're there. <laughs> and that's the cutscene that plays every time. <laughs> every time you get a new costume. <sighs> it's the perfect place for a flanking attack. We don't need to worry about an ambush. Shigure is waiting for us ahead. Oh. It was simply too close. Um, I recently got a. I'm sure you're familiar. Uh, I'm sure anyone familiar that for the last few years lego's been doing like constructor series stuff where it's like uh a bouquet of flowers or a bonsai oh, tree it's like more yes and i mean on the on like the nerd fandom angle there's like a detailed boba fett helmet right? sure yeah um i got a kit of himeji castle which is a castle in Japan, mm -hmm. in I think Hiroshima is just the name of the town. Um, it's it's a fairly recent castle in terms of like Japanese history. Yeah, it's very picturesque because it's all white and gray. Uh huh. Um, and they made a, a Lego kit of it. Interesting. And it took me about nine hours to make. Oh, because <laughs> all all the construction kits are very much like. Try as they might, it it's a castle in a in like, not a field, but like a castle grounds. Okay. The castle grounds like... is flat, but because it's meant to be like an architectural Lego kit. Yeah. The flat ground is made of like a hundred pieces. Yeah. That are intersecting to make it look textured. Right. And make it look like there's a path. And it looks really good, honestly. But it's like because of that, it has a lot of pieces that would otherwise be unnecessary if you're just going for form mm -hmm. instead of or, or not form but like silhouette instead yeah. of um like detail right so it took a long time to build but it's very pretty not even worth my time and we're there Boss fight, go! Not quite yet. 20 feet ahead. Oh, we have enough souls now. Let's go back to that chest. Yeah, but there's gonna be one in this place too, probably. <laughs> so way it be. Mm -hmm. Gimme, give gimme. Give what's give me what's that? that? What's that on the ground? Who did? Someone oh, dead? he's just sitting. He's just sitting. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was dead or sitting or. Hey, hold hey, on a second. No, no, that, no, hey, no, hey, hey, no. Hey, my neck. I didn't say. I didn't say wow, you could really? attack us. He's yet. really just waiting for us here. <laughs> Rokuro. It's okay. Incredible! The old bastard forged himself into a sword! Indeed. 
That blade's the embodiment of Kurogane's centuries of study. The Kurogane Stormquell. I like it. Just Kurogane for now. He will be the blade that surpasses both Stormquell and Stormhell. And when it does, then he will have earned the name Kurogane Stormquell. Ah, oh, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Sorry to keep you waiting. Watch out. I wouldn't be surprised if he used an Armatus. An Armatus? It's not my style to rely on anyone's help. Ha! <laughs> Says the big bad exorcist. Look, you'll even ask a tubby kitty for help. Shut up! I'm totally not! He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... Oh, she he's does. taking the training weights off. It's for my training. <laughs> At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. Can a human even be this strong? Kitty Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Rokuro! Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair! You won't beat me unless you use everything you've got! I, I suspect I won't need Modula in the play. Well. <laughs> so Rokuro can take her place. Let's have some fun. I doubt he's going to be casting any spells on me. <laughs> yeah. Begin. Seriously. You're scared of me. Spiral. Out of the corner. Don't even need to dodge. It'll be the same every time. Target style. Final judgment. <laughs> so you can handle my attacks now. This is where the fight truly begins. Single day. What do you know? I totally agree. That's cool. Um, I don't know if that was a thing that happened automatically or if you had to do a button. That was automatic. Okay. Um, some cool moments happen with... I, I told you that how there's... Uh, the characters have, like, interruption attacks in her eyes. Yeah. With a meter. Yeah, there's there's some cool boss fights for you. Where you have to save those for specific moments. It's really, really cool when it happens. Uh, it, that felt like that. Yeah. He did, in fact, armor crush me. It'll be the same every time! Rocket style! Eagle. Final judgment! <laughs> Dark and light! So I, so I wonder if that would... That probably wouldn't happen if you didn't have Rokuro in, huh? Probably not. That's a good point. <laughs> I wanted him in because, you know, you gotta give him a chance. It'd be, it'd be rude to take away the fight from him. You people are really something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. 
I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. Rokuro, he's still got plenty of power left. Of course he does. He's Shigure Rangetsu, after all. Two blades, you sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. <laughs> So this is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take Storm Howl. One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. Shigure? Shigure, you were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius's stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good. We're good. My blade found its mark. One final squeak. <clears throat> oh, boat. Boat time. I knew this would be oh? big. What a treasure! Moon and star earrings. Indefatigable. I don't know how to pronounce that word. It's fine. Scout ship. De what lovely earrings! Knocked and dear. Thank you. 
If you want to leave now, Rokuro, I won't stop you. Don't forget, my purpose here is to repay my debt to you. <laughs> 